In this video, I'm going to share with you a play that is resembling why the Trips tight end offense is the best offense in Madden 21. What's up, guys? My name is Cody, and I want to thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If this is your first time visiting my channel, my channel is all about helping people become the best Madden players that they can possibly become. And so if you are looking to get better at this game, I just want to encourage you to click the subscribe button at the bottom right hand corner of your screen. It's completely free to subscribe. And again, it just allows you to be able to know basically, you know, what we're doing here on the channel and how you can learn. Now, the play we're going over today is Pat's Y in. And this is one of my favorite concepts because it is such a good bomb shot play. Um, and that's how we're going to teach it in this video. Now, really quickly, before we dive too far into this, if you want to get my full trips tight end offensive guide, I am going to leave a link in the description. And I'm also going to try to leave a link in the comment section for you um, to be able to get that offensive guide. The full trips tight end offense is just $10. And it literally walks you through step by step everything that you need to know about the trips tight end. In my personal opinion, the Patriots have the best trips tight end because of plays like Pat's Flood and plays like um, the tight end screen and things like that. Pat's Y Post is another good one. But, you know, some people like other ones, but this is my preferred way to do it. So, anyways, uh, Pat's Y is what we're going to be going over. But if you want to get the ebook, um, it's in the description. Now, as far as the setup of this play, it's actually relatively simple. Literally, all we're going to do is we're just going to smart route the square receiver. We're going to block our running back. And then we can kind of do whatever we want on the left side. Um, we just have to make sure those routes go to the left. So, for example, we could just snap the ball. It really doesn't matter. And what you're going to notice is that this, um, you know, this, the square receiver is going to be open a lot of the time, um, specifically against a cover two style of coverage. So right here, I'm just gonna show you uh, what it looks like against a cover two. So if you take a look at this, um, what's this basically gonna happen is this square receiver is going to have a pretty good shot at being open um, consistently against a cover two style of defense. The other thing that I want you to know though is that you might have to make a couple of small little adjustments. One of those adjustments is, um, is to go ahead and put that left of screen player on a hitch route. So I like to block the running back, but I also like to put that left of screen receiver on a little hitch route. It's gonna help hold the zones. You're gonna find that right there. And as you can see, you can check down to your tight end. Um, if you wanted to, you could do something like this. This is another method that I like to use uh, specifically for situations like this. This is a way that you could do it. So you could smart route the square receiver, put the triangle receiver on a hitch, put the circle receiver on a flat, and then just block your running back. And I like to typically smart route that X receiver. And you see this is kind of what you get, but really the beauty of this is, as you can see, this square receiver is gonna almost always get a little step on a cover four, or cover three, cover two, it doesn't really matter. Um, he's gonna get over the top of a lot of different coverages. So that was cover two. Let me show you a cover four. And again, these are just very simple adjustments here. As you can see, this is kind of what we have. Um, and again, you know, we always want to run our trips to the wide side of the field. But here, once again, if I just pass lead this over the top, you see that just let him run. And Vadis Scaling does exactly what he does best. One play touchdown over cover four drop. Um, and you could do this against anything, right? You could do it against cover four. You could do it against cover two, for sure. Um, the main coverages, you can do this as long as he's able to beat the main coverage. He'll win. Uh, he'll get separation against that. Uh, as far as cover three, if you just pass lead this, you do have to have a little bit more time um, on the cover three specifically. But as long as you have time in the pocket, what you're going to notice happen, uh, and this is what makes this offense so effective, if you have time in the pocket, you are going to realize relatively quickly here that the square receiver, just basically I'm going to pass lead him to the right. So I'm just going to wait, 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 and then throw it right about there. And Rogers kind of screwed me on that. But I, I, I basically want to wait until he's even or leaving with the safeties, right? Uh, until he's even or leaving with the safeties. And so what that practically will look like is it allows you to really have some answers um, for really any coverage. You can beat cover four, you can beat cover two, you can beat cover three. Um, as you see right there, that's more what we're looking for. And like I said, you know, Rodgers is not making the throw uh, for me today. But ideally, if he would just throw the ball out and over the, over the top of him, this would be a one play against every coverage in the game. Literally cover four, cover three, cover two, 
it doesn't matter. This is this is your play. I mean, this is your play that you are going to really be able to use. And again, you just got to get it over the top here. And like I said, Rogers is kind of screwing me, so we'll stop trying to kill the cover three. We'll do one more time. And what I'll do is a max coverage out of the Mike Blitz three here. So I'm going to run cover three Mabel basically. And this is, you know, again, triangles on a hitch, circles on a flat, block the running back, and then I like to smart route square. And what you'll see here is if I can get this right there, and of course Rogers got, I blitzed one person in practice mode, let him just come in and sack me. It's absolutely ridiculous. But um, let's try it one more time. <laughs> um, but literally, you can bomb every cover. You can literally bomb every coverage with this. So I'm going to show you this setup one more time. And I just have to kind of watch. But one square is even. He's leaving. So right there, that's exactly what I'm looking for. And, of course, as soon as I threw it, I, my, my, my thumb bumped the controller. So we'll try it one last time for you. Um, but basically, that's kind of exactly what we're looking for. We're looking to hit the square receiver whenever he, whenever he's even with that safety, whether it's cover three, cover two, it really doesn't matter. As long as he's even, he's leaving, passing that all the way to the right side, and there's a one-play touchdown against every coverage. Cover four, check. Cover two, check. Cover three, check. It also will beat man coverage. If they were to run something like a cover two man, let me show you that really quickly here, but this will beat it. Um, and hopefully I won't get instant shedded here. Uh, and of course I'm gonna you know, get instant shedded, uh, of course, you know, but, but basically, again, as long as you have some time in the pocket, you are going to be able to beat this. This is, this is what makes this such a good offense. And you know, cover the man coverage um, is a little bit better, in my opinion. If you if you want to make it a little bit better for you, if you know you're going to go to this play, I would recommend subbing in, uh, subbing in Devonte Adams. You see there, the, the cover two man played it a little bit better. But if Devonte Adams was running that route, that would be wide open. So that's where you know you know route running does matter with this. But as far as zone beater, this is just a beast of a zone beater. And again, if you know if you don't want to try to just go for the post route, um, you have other you have other routes. Uh, this route to the tight end is really really good. You have this little um, flat hitch combo that's actually super super underrated from trips tight end. So anyways, guys. This is one of the many reasons why the trips tight end is truly the best offense in the entire game. And so if you want to get my full trips tight end offensive guide, I'm going to leave a link to it in the description. And I'm also going to leave a link to it in the comment section. And you can get the full trips tight end guide. Uh, if you click that link, you can get the full guide for $10. So for just $10, you'll learn everything that I know about trips tight end and how to utilize it as your primary offense in this game. Thanks for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you have any questions, you can always text me. My number is 208-218-6900.